गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स मे गॉड ब्लेस यू ऑल चिल्ड्रन हाउ इज द वेदर टूडे इज इट सनी विंडी क्लाउडी और रेनी वॉज द वेदर डिफरेंट येस्टरडे वेदर चेंजेस फ्रॉम डे टू डे एंड समटाइम्स इवन फ्रॉम आवर टू आवर टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू लेसन सिक्स एयर वॉटर एंड वेदर In this lesson you will learn about what is weather how does the sun affect weather what makes the wind blow what causes sea breeze and land breeze what is evaporation and condensation water cycle formation of hail snow and fog and why water gets polluted and how it is cleaned weather is the condition of the air surrounding us at any given time the weather can change very quickly it may be bright and sunny in the morning but may suddenly turn dark and cloudy even during a particular season the weather changes from day to day and from hour to hour changes in weather take place because of the sun it is the heat of the sun that causes the wind to blow and the clouds to form when the sun shines brightly it heats up the land this causes the air above it to also get heated up warm air is lighter than cold air and so it rises up cool air rushes in to take its place this causes the wind to blow In coastal areas during the day the land gets heated up more than the water in the sea the air above the land is warmer it rises up cool air from above the sea blows to take its place this is called the sea breeze at night the land cools down faster than the water in the sea so the water is warmer than the land the warm air above the water rises up the cool air over land rushes in to take its place this is called the land breeze take some water in a glass bowl place it in the sun observe it after a few hours has the amount of water in the bowl gone down where did the water go the water changed to water vapor in the heat of the sun this process is called evaporation evaporation of water takes place all the time but it is faster if the water is heated on cooling water vapor changes into water this process is called condensation now let's see what is water cycle as the sun shines down on the earth water in lakes rivers and oceans evaporates and changes into water vapor the air along with the water vapor becomes warm and rises up as it rises higher in the sky it cools down the water vapor condenses around tiny dust particles in the air to form tiny droplets of water millions of millions of these droplets together form clouds as these water droplets join together and become bigger and heavier they fall to the ground as rain most of the water that falls on land goes back into the lakes rivers and oceans this water evaporates again and falls as rain this process happens again and again this repeated change of water to water vapor and then back to water is called the water cycle sometimes on their way down rain drops pass through very cold air and freeze to form small balls of ice these fall to the ground as hail stones if the clouds themselves are very cold the water vapor condenses and freezes to form ice instead of water the ice so formed is in the form of soft beautiful snowflakes they have different shapes children go out in the garden on a cold morning and you will observe 
water droplets on leaves and grasses children this is dew on cold nights the air near the ground cools down the water vapor in the air condenses to form drops of water on leaves grass and window panes this is called dew on very cold nights dew freezes to form ice this is called frost on cold winter morning water vapor sometimes condenses on dust particles near the ground and clouds form just above the ground this is known as fog sometimes the fog is so thick that it is difficult to see beyond a few meters drivers have to be very careful otherwise accidents may take place about 3/4 of the earth surface is covered with water most of the water available on the earth cannot be used by us for drinking the water in seas and oceans is salty in most places the water in rivers and lakes is not clean enough to drink it is said to be polluted water becomes polluted because waste from our houses and factories is allowed to flow into rivers and lakes polluted water has dirt and germs in it drinking polluted water can cause several diseases to purify the water or to make it fit for drinking water from river or lake is pumped into the water works in the city here it is passed through filters to remove dirt special substances such as chlorine are added to kill germs the clean water is then pumped to our homes clean water is precious it should not be wasted